Welcome back to Poughkeepsie Live. This is the In View segment, and tonight's special guest is Peter Conrad, and he's a local illustrator uh, right here from uh, Poughkeepsie. From Poughkeepsie. Uh, he's been doing illustration, graphic arts uh, for what six years? In, yeah, in and around this area. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, it, I came to this area slightly more recently than that. Okay. And um, I've been really uh, focusing on uh, illustration more now. I understand that you graduate from Vassar. You also teach there, uh, do many courses in, in uh, the regular uh, curriculum, regular, uh, it's I guess, a, four courses. Yeah, it's a, a many courses like a, uh, an addition to the regular curriculum, and people from outside come in and, and teach courses. And you're also going to be teaching at Barrett House, and this is going to be in July. It's a watercolor class. It's for kids from 18, uh, no, I'm sorry, from 8 to 14. Right. And uh, this is going to be in July. You're going to have to call the Barrett House for, for more information. Right. Uh, the flyer's not out yet. Um, so uh, tell us a little bit more about yourself, Pete. Um, well, I, uh, I guess I started really with a background in architectural and technical illustration. And um, so that's kind of some bread and butter for me there. But I'm interested in moving away from that uh, into the more interesting stuff, although I feel, you know, very comfortable doing the technical stuff. So you're doing freelance now in this area, and then yeah. he's available for hire. If you'd like to uh, get more information about Pete, his phone number is 485. 3769. It's a local number in Poughkeepsie. Mm -hmm. um, tell us, uh, you've got some uh, some prints yeah, here. Then show us things. a little bit about some of your work. Well, these are the real deal. They're not prints. They're okay. <laughs> these are the originals. This one is a uh, um, painting that I did. Uh, most of the watercolors that I do. Uh, yeah, tilt it. Yeah, there you go. There we go. A little bit better. Most of the watercolors I do, I do uh, for my own purposes. Um, although I do use watercolor in illustration. This one I did uh, last summer. And uh, it's a tow truck that, that I lived with for sure. Okay. It's <laughs> hard to explain. Hard to explain. Okay. You get some more here? You, you, yeah, uh, sure. Doing a, a children's book, and this is part of the illustrations for that. Yeah, here's one. I've got another one of these, too. This is, uh, this is the sort of uh, beginning of the, what's it called, the uh, conflict, the beginning of the conflict of the story here. Okay. Where um, this... Uh, this girl who's building the sandcastle has just disappointed this girl very, very greatly. But she looks like she's very disappointed. <laughs> very disappointed. Yeah, Creates the major conflict in the book there. How, about how long does it usually take you to, to, to create something like this? Oh, uh, three or four hours, I would say, for, for something like this. This is 11 by 14, too, so. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I could make wallpaper for you, if you like. But uh, this is hand-painted wallpaper? Yeah, but I, I mean, I don't, but I could. You could. I'd be, I'd be happy to, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, here's another uh, painting that I did just uh, kind of as my own. Is it any particular person? or? Well, of course it is. But uh, I, uh, I like to paint from life because basically what I like to study is the light, uh, the way that the light interacts with the subject. I don't really believe when I'm painting from life that I'm painting the objects. I'm much more interested in just painting the light that hits the objects and the colors that that light uh, has in it when it reflects back to the eye. Okay. And so I'm very interested in things that have interesting tonal qualities to them. You know, provide me with the opportunity to experiment with light a little bit. So, so you're in this area, yeah, you're, you're available for, for hire. Uh, tell me a little bit more about these mini courses that you do for, for Vassar. Well, the, uh, the mini courses I've taught so far have been uh, watercolor. I did one called Watercolor for the Artistically Challenged, which um, both of them went very, very well. Um, and my basic idea is that anybody, anybody ought to be able to uh, do art. And that when people tell you, you know, oh, you're no good at art, your brother's good at art, you know, that kind of stuff, that's, uh, that's a myth. And that with a few techniques and a few suggestions about how to think and how to look at things, anybody ought to be able to do art. So, and also, it's a larger audience. You know, if I teach a course for artists only, it's sort of snobbish of me, and only a few people will show up. But if I make it a general, uh, general interest thing, I get a larger audience. So, so people shouldn't feel apprehensive about, about signing up? Oh, no, no, not at all. So you take them from start to finish? Right? Yeah, basically. And uh, the the limit of how far you can go is really only determined by how far you want to go. Okay. Yeah. If you're wondering about Peter's face, uh, he, he actually got mugged on the way in here. <laughs> uh, he, uh, he, he had a bike accident today, yeah. and uh, he was gracious enough to carry on with his interview, and we're, we applaud yeah. him for, for This his, is not my normal... His, uh, his determination. Normal, right? <laughs> it's 
fantastic. That's right. And I appreciate it. Um, tell us a little bit more about about uh, what you'd like to get into in, in, in this area. I know that there, there are some jobs that, that you had before, and then you were telling me out uh, in, in the interview before mm -hmm. about uh, some of the uh, places have closed up, and they really mm -hmm. haven't uh, grown well, the way you wanted them to grow. Yeah, I, uh, I graduated from Vassar two years ago, and um, I subscribed to the myth that uh, you know, you go to school, you get a job, you move up, and, and so on and so forth, which I think is no longer true in the 90s. And the experience I had was that it was easy to get a job, but that companies would either go bankrupt or cut the budgets for the departments, mm -hmm. or, you know, one thing and another. I actually did have a, con a company crumble from beneath me. And uh, I decided to take things into my own hands. And also I realized that illustration is what I'm actually interested in doing and that I shouldn't waste time doing something that I'm not interested in. Sure, absolutely. So that's what I want to do with my life. I, I know that you're, you're going and branching out into the t-shirt business, too. You've got a t-shirt here Possibly, yeah. Got a t -shirt here this for is it. actually, this is for you. Okay. So here's this uh, t-shirt kind of thing there. And uh, this is, this this is a normal, what, a silk screen that you, that you would do? Normal silk screen thing, yeah. This is a thank you for, um, for having, you, having me on the show. Well, I appreciate it. That's fine. Okay. So, and then this is a, uh, here's another picture from the children's book. This I actually used as a, um, a sort of little mailer card for a while, a black and white version of that. Well, when is this children's book going to be available? Um, not for some time. I've got it submitted right now at a publisher, and they haven't gotten back to me yet. Um, and uh, from what I understand, I'm, I'm very new to the uh, children's book thing, from what I understand, it takes about 18 months after they accept it before they publish it. Okay. So uh, it'll it'll be a while, but I expect that it'll be very successful as soon as I. Uh, oh, the pictures are great. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. <laughs> okay. I want to thank you for being on Poughkeepsie Live. You're welcome back anytime. Well, thank you for having me. I'd love to come back. Phone number to get again for Peter Conrad is 485-3769. If you'd like to get in touch with him, please give him a call and uh, give him some business. Uh, right up after this is Chef Man. We've got Joe Jacor uh, Jakovic. He's from the Country Manor Inn, and he's going to be talking to you about his show. So you got to stay tuned. So we'll see you in a little while.